Welcome to Spacecraft, a thrilling physics-based spaceship simulation that will take you on an unforgettable journey through the vastness of space. In this game, you'll find yourself immersed in an open world where you can craft elements, pilot your own spaceship, and explore the unknown. One of the remarkable features of Spacecraft is the presence of a docking arm and a crane rope on your spaceship. These essential tools allow you to hold and move objects with precision, giving you the ability to interact with your environment in exciting ways. You can use the docking arm to grasp onto objects and the crane rope to lift items from planet surfaces, expanding your range of actions and possibilities. To power your spaceship and keep it in top condition, you'll need to collect crystal energy. These valuable resources can be used to refuel, repair, or upgrade your vessel. You can enhance your spaceship with various improvements, such as an afterburner for increased speed, additional armor for improved defense, extra fuel tanks for extended journeys, and a reinforced chassis for durability. But crystals serve an even greater purpose in spacecraft. They can be utilized to activate generators, which unlock a multitude of machines and stations. This feature opens up a world of possibilities, including teleportation to other planets and sending emergency signals for assistance. At the heart of spacecraft lies a captivating story. You assume the role of Tom, our hero, who finds himself abducted into an unknown universe. Lost in this strange new world, Tom embarks on a quest to unravel the secrets behind his abduction and, ultimately, find a way back home to planet Earth. Prepare to be captivated by a compelling narrative that drives your actions and keeps you engaged in your interstellar adventure. Spacecraft is available to wishlist on Steam. Now, let's hear from the developer of this game. But first, are you like me, always looking for the next big thing in the world of indie games? Well, look no further because you've come to the right place. We interview indie developers, giving them a platform to share their journey, their struggles, and their triumphs. By subscribing to our channel, you'll be supporting these talented individuals and their dreams. And to show our appreciation to our subscribers for all of their support, we give away free copies of these amazing games whenever possible. Now, let's hear from the creator of Spacecraft. Um, <clears throat> Spacecraft is... Actually, it's a very unique space game. Actually... Um, uh, maybe I can tell about the backstory of the game. So after a few years ago, I was teaching my wife JavaScript, uh, some kind of web coding uh, programming language. Yeah, actually, I'm a web develop. Uh, I was a web developer before and experienced on JavaScript. Then uh, we made a very simple um, space game prototype when we are working. Uh, to learn JavaScript. Actually, I was teaching uh, to my wife. So, um, the space mechanic is very simple because if you give an object a force, that will start accelerating in, in that way. And if you want to stop it, you can give opposite uh, force to stop it. And that was extremely simple physics rule. Uh, so we worked on it. Uh, after a few hours, we that became a uh, a uh, very uh, tiny <laughs> space game. So my wife told me, hey, uh, why don't you make a mobile game using this mechanic? And I started Spacecraft as a mobile game. Uh, it was a very simple idea and I uh, worked on it for maybe a few months. After that, after that, um, the idea becomes really uh, big. Um, actually, I was, start, uh, I was planning to make a very simple game, but it turned out really well and uh, be, be, become uh, a big, bigger game than I thought in the beginning. So I found a, a game engine that works with JavaScript and found Cocos Creator. I made this game on Cocos Creator. It's ex extremely simple uh, and a nice game engine. So it is also open source that you can edit the engine code if you need. So this is the beginning of this uh, story. Um, so spacecraft is a space game that you can control a spaceship in very manual way, way no automatic pilot or anything. So you have to control every aspect of the game. We can compare it to piloting a drone. If you can control this spaceship in spacecraft, you can obviously uh, fly a drone in your home <laughs> or in your garden. So uh, that was a super basic idea uh, and. After that, I added a docking arm feature to the nose side of the spaceship and a crane rope in the back side of the spaceship. 
to let us manipulate objects in space or over uh, planet surfaces. So mostly you move objects around and solve some puzzleish mechanics in uh, mechaniz mechanisms in the game. Uh, you can teleport between planets and um, you can collect crystals to gain energy. Uh, if you collect enough energy, you can upgrade your spaceship, repair your spaceship if you uh, damage. And you can refuel your spaceship. That, that's the core uh, game loop of uh, spacecraft. So we have uh, two sections in the game. We have an adventure side of the game and it's a story driven uh, adventure that we uh, follow. And we also have uh, arcade levels. Uh, I made the arcade level section because we have tons of idea and not all the ideas fitting to uh, the storyline. So we wanted to test them uh, to see if uh, the ideas are uh, fun or not. And we decided to make uh, arcade levels, so um, maybe <laughs> arcade levels can be much more popular than the story, I don't know. So this is the uh, current situation of the game. Actually, uh, I think most complicated, uh, most complex system in this game is saving feature. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't look like super special. Uh, but uh, in spacecraft, it has some kind of sandbox style. So if you move some object in some place, if you leave it there, if you save the game or go out and come to that planet, you can find the same specific object in the same place with the same status. Um, I think this is uh, quite an uh, advanced feature for that kind of game. And the other thing... Uh, I can say is actually this game is some kind of open world game. This is, uh, I think, that would be the greatest feature. So you can go to a planet and turn back to previous planet and bring some item from uh, the previous planet to next planet, and you can solve a puzzle using some items from another planet. So actually, you can completely feel free to uh, play this game uh, in your own way because this is not a linear game. Maybe it looks like some linear space shooter like arcade game, but it is not. It is an open world game. Open you can call it open universe. So um, yeah, I can say that these uh, two features are I think the most advanced things in this game. Yeah, actually, this game is the first game I ever made in my life and I learned how to make a game with this project, actually. Um, the biggest challenge is keeping, um, actually stopping yourself to making new features. Um, as you start learning game development, um, you always want to add new features, new simple, uh, simple looks simple, but uh, if you add more features, you uh, increase the complexity and it's uh, it becomes really hard to finish the project. Actually, I started this project uh, years ago. I worked on this project for uh, more than one year. And after that, I couldn't complete the project. I, I released some beta uh, versions of this game, but after that, I had to stop, stop and uh, go work. <laughs> Then, uh, now I have enough uh, time and uh, resources to finish this game and return to this game. And I see that after a few years of game development experience, um, I overdone a few features on this game. I, I think the most challenging part is, as a developer, uh, keep yourself uh, in a limited area of the project. So it's so easy to add new features, new, you can always come up with new ideas and it can eventually be, makes your game impossible to finish. Your project becomes very complex and um, I think this is the most challenging thing. And the other challenging thing is, I can say, um, actually maybe saving save feature of this game, maybe. Uh, but the first thing is uh, keeping yourself uh, in a limited area as a developer. Yeah, um, the, the last week I made a new planet. 
on this game and this planet and all the planets in this game is uh, available in demo version probably will be updated in in a few days so if uh, people want to play it check it out uh, they can easily download the demo and uh, play and uh, the latest feature is uh, the planet I made um, um, we call it industry planet actually these names are just nicknames for planets maybe we can change them later but this planet is industry planet and um, I made two generators connected together and fed with um, crystal uh, the energy of a crystal and first first generator uh, converts the crystal energy uh, actually electrical energy into a rotating uh, wheel and the, that wheel cog wheel actually rotates another uh, generators uh, mechanism then we put uh, four magnets over the second generator giant generator that increases the power somehow I don't know this is just an idea and that uh, output feel, fe feeds a giant laser reflector kind of thing. Um, I think this is the most interesting thing in this game um, because when they play this uh, level, they will see actually they can connect uh, different kind of devices and machines to work th together. And actually, I uh, in the beginning I was planning this. Uh, puzzleish uh, mechanics uh, but eventually that can be uh, some kind of sandbox uh, style I don't know maybe in the future we can add more sandbox features to the game and eventually this game can um, turn to uh, some kind of base building or planet building uh, kind of game I don't know so this is uh, this game is still under development and if uh, people have some ideas they can easily share with me actually I have a YouTube channel uh, if you uh, search game dev garage you can easily find my, my videos I try to update people with develop videos uh, actually, we are working on a few projects at the same time, so sometimes I update uh, about spacecraft, sometimes update uh, about uh, other uh, projects. It's easy to follow me on YouTube and I also have a Discord server. Uh, they can follow uh, the progress from there also and from your channel if you update. <laughs>